the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has arrested a whopping 36 persons alleged to be internet frosters or Yahoo Boys, as they are fondly called. Welcome to our channel where we bring you global happenings and breaking news. Kindly subscribe and click the notification bell so that our video uploads will come directly to you. Let's inform you on what is happening with the FCC and these Yahoo boys. So the operatives of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Enuguzono Command, said it has arrested 36 alleged internet frosters in Enugu. Mr. Wilson Owajeren, head of media and publicity of the EFCC, said this in a statement on Wednesday in Abuja. Owajeren said the suspects were arrested at IMO following credible intelligence linking them to cyber fraud targeting mostly foreign nationals. They recovered some items from them and they included phones, laptops, international passports, and one Lexus ES350 with NYCN registration number IMO44. Other items recovered are one Mercedes-Benz GLK with Lagos registration number and one Toyota Camry with Lagos registration number, he said. Wajero said the suspects would be charged to court upon completion of investigation of their case. The FCC, they have swung on these Yahoo boys, internet frosters. What a whooping number, 36 arrested in Enugu. It looks like uh, a good percentage of the young people there are engaged in this uh, Yahoo business. But what did the EFCC find as evidence? <laughs> Laptops, phones, and two, three vehicles out of these 36 people they arrested. They just got phones, laptops, and then two vehicles. Are they making money from this business? If they are making that money, where is the money? I was expecting that when you arrest 36 people, you will recover like 90 cars, vehicles from them. Laptops, houses, hotels, estates, and things like that. But it's just phones and laptops, which is um, one reason that people criticized the SARS in those days because they are averse to seeing young people that are well dressed, that uh, drive um, good cars, and they stop them, they search them, they open their phones, they look for phone numbers. If they see a foreign phone number, bam. They are in trouble. If they see anything whatsoever that doesn't look ordinary, they are in trouble. Even if uh, his friends or way wishers or business partners are abroad, they are in trouble. Now, the FCC have taken over the job. We don't hear much of the SAS anymore, even though some allege that they are operating under a different name. And now they arrested 36 of them. A whole economic and financial crimes commission. Bravo. What happened to 35 individuals that shelled out 100 million to purchase APC nomination form as president? What of over 200 of them that are contesting as governors and are rolling out probably, I guess, 50 million to purchase the ticket? House of Reps, uh, Prospects, Senators, Prospects, name them, State Assemblies and the rest of it. The FCC works to curb corruption among the lowest of the lowest in Nigeria, the so-called Yahoo Boys, but the main Yahoo Boys that, that steal the millions and billions of our money. Nothing happens. The governors, they arrest them. The cases will run for 15 years. Nobody is jailed. When they manage to jail one person, after three years, the president will give them 
pardon, state pardon, and they go back to their home enjoying the money they looted from Nigerians. That is how corruption is being fought in Nigeria. That is it, really. These boys, some of them will end up in jail, yes, because they don't have um, a huge reserve of money to build themselves out, sort themselves out, or hire 40 sons. Like the governor of um, Ebony State hired, I do I know how many sons, to defend him against uh, judgment that um, because he decamped from PDP to APC that he is no more the governor of Ebony State. They are not billionaires, as far as we can see from the pile threatens that were recovered from them. If they are, there will be a lot of things recovered from them and then they can hire the big wigs to go and defend them. So corruption fight in Nigeria is, looking at this whole thing, is a child's play. It's a child's play. 36 persons arrested in only one city of Enugu. How many politicians do you have in Enugu State who are stealing rights today? When you are a lawyer living in a, a flat, a rented flat, and they elect you to the State Assembly, House of Assembly, or the House of Representatives, or Senate, or Governor, after four years, the person will have an estate. Within four years, the... The, the financial muzzle will have doubled by 2,000%. And the FCC don't arrest those ones, but they are arresting these Yahoo boys. Let's it be clear, we are not in support of um, Yahoo boys. We are not asking anybody to do internet fraud. We are not also defending them. But what we are saying here is that there should be a level playing ground. The law is for everybody. Some people are not above it, while some will be held by the law. And those who have the might do what they want and get away with it. So that's what's happening in Enugu. 36 of them grabbed and they have evidences against them in their laptops and their phone numbers and the few cars they brought. Thank you for listening to our presentation. If you like this, kindly share it with your friends and families. Maybe it will help wonders who want to go into Yahoo business to stay out of it because of impending trouble. Kindly subscribe to our channel. Click on the notification bell so that when we release these interesting updates and videos, it will come directly to you. We pray God to bless you in your undertakings.